Welcome to our microlearning channel. The human brain is a remarkable and complex organ that continues to fascinate scientists and researchers. Despite significant advances in our understanding, many aspects of the brain's inner workings remain shrouded in mystery, inviting further exploration and discovery. This presentation will delve into the latest scientific understanding of the brain and uncover some of the most intriguing mysteries that still remain. From the billions of neurons that make up its structure to the intricate web of synaptic connections, the brain's complexity is a source of endless fascination. We'll examine what is known about the brain's remarkable capabilities and highlight the areas where our knowledge is still limited. The human brain is an incredibly complex and fascinating organ, serving as the control center of the body. Neuroscientists and researchers have spent centuries studying the brain, using advanced imaging technologies and cutting-edge research to expand our understanding. However, the brain still holds many mysteries, with aspects like consciousness and memory not yet fully understood. We will explore the brain's complexity, the ongoing efforts to explore it, and the intriguing unknowns that remain. The human brain is divided into four main lobes, the frontal lobe, parietal lobe, temporal lobe, and occipital lobe. Each lobe is responsible for specific functions, such as movement, sensory perception, language, and visual processing. The cerebral cortex is the outermost layer of the brain and is responsible for higher cognitive functions, such as decision-making, problem-solving, and consciousness. It is divided into specialized regions that handle different tasks. The brainstem connects the cerebrum to the spinal cord and is responsible for vital functions, such as heart rate, breathing, and sleep. The cerebellum, often called the little brain, coordinates movement and helps maintain balance and posture. The cerebrum is the largest and most prominent part of the human brain, making up about 85% of the brain's total weight. It is divided into two hemispheres, the left and right cerebral hemispheres, which are connected by the corpus callosum, a thick band of nerve fibers. The cerebrum is responsible for a wide range of functions, including cognition, perception, motor control, and language. Each hemisphere of the cerebrum is further divided into four lobes, the frontal, parietal, temporal, and occipital lobes, each with specialized functions. The image on the right shows a detailed cross-section of the human brain, highlighting the key structures of the cerebrum. The cerebellum, often called the little brain, is a small but vital structure at the base of the brain. It plays a crucial role in coordinating our movements, maintaining balance and posture, and contributing to cognitive processes. With its intricate, folded appearance and dense network of neurons, the cerebellum acts as a precise control system. It constantly monitors and adjusts our physical actions to ensure smooth, coordinated movements. But the cerebellum's influence goes beyond just motor control. It also helps regulate emotions, language, and decision-making. This remarkable structure, though small in size, has a profound impact on our overall brain function. The brainstem is a crucial structure at the base of the brain that acts as the control center for many vital functions. It connects the cerebrum above to the spinal cord below, serving as a bridge to relay information and coordinate essential processes. The brainstem is divided into three main parts, the midbrain, pons, and medulla oblongata. These areas regulate fundamental life-sustaining activities like breathing, heart rate, blood pressure, and sleep-wake cycles. Damage to the brainstem can have severe and even fatal consequences, underscoring its importance in maintaining homeostasis within the body. The image shows an illustration of the human brain with the brainstem highlighted, demonstrating its connection to the cerebrum and spinal cord. Neurotransmitters are the chemical messengers that allow neurons in the brain to communicate with each other. They are released from the synaptic terminals of one neuron and bind to receptors on the receiving neuron, triggering a response. The brain's primary neurotransmitters include dopamine, serotonin, norepinephrine, GABA, and glutamate. Each of these neurotransmitters plays a crucial role in regulating mood, sleep, appetite, learning, and other cognitive and physiological functions. An imbalance or dysfunction in neurotransmitter levels can lead to various neurological and psychiatric disorders, such as depression, anxiety, ADHD, Parkinson's disease, and Alzheimer's disease. 
Maintaining a healthy balance of neurotransmitters is essential for optimal brain function. Medications, lifestyle factors, and certain therapies can be used to modulate neurotransmitter levels and activity in the brain, helping to restore balance and alleviate symptoms associated with neurotransmitter imbalances. The nervous system is a complex network that connects the brain to the rest of the body. The central nervous system, CNS, is the command center made up of the brain and spinal cord. The peripheral nervous system, PNS, consists of nerves that branch out from the CNS, transmitting signals to and from the brain and body. Sensory nerves in the PNS gather information from the environment and internal organs, relaying it to the brain for processing and interpretation. This integrated system allows the brain to coordinate all of the body's functions and respond to changes in the internal and external environment. Understanding the structure and function of the nervous system is crucial for maintaining health and well-being. The brain is an incredible organ that can adapt and change in response to our experiences, learning, and behaviors. This process is called neuroplasticity, and it allows the brain to create new connections, strengthen existing ones, and even generate new brain cells throughout our lives. Neuroplasticity enables the brain to rewire itself, which is crucial for learning, memory, and recovery from injury or illness. As we learn new skills or change our habits, the brain alters its neural pathways to adapt to these changes. The prefrontal cortex is the command center of the brain, responsible for high-level cognitive functions like decision-making, problem-solving, and impulse control. It helps us plan, organize, and regulate our behavior to achieve our goals. This region of the brain also plays a crucial role in managing our emotions. It helps us interpret social cues, understand the perspectives of others, and regulate our emotional responses, allowing us to navigate complex social situations. The prefrontal cortex enables us to adapt to changing circumstances, think creatively, and consider multiple perspectives. It allows us to shift our thinking, generate new ideas, and consider alternative solutions to problems. The limbic system is the part of the brain responsible for processing and regulating emotions. It includes key structures like the amygdala, which perceives and responds to emotional stimuli, and the hippocampus, which helps encode emotional memories. The limbic system is also intimately involved in memory formation, both explicit and implicit. Emotions generated by the limbic system can have a powerful influence on our behavior, decision-making, and overall mental state. The limbic system works closely with the cerebral cortex, allowing for an interplay between emotion and cognition that is crucial for adaptive human behavior. Sleep is essential for the brain's optimal functioning, as it allows for memory consolidation, information processing, and overall cognitive performance. During sleep, the brain undergoes a series of complex processes characterized by distinct brainwave patterns like delta and theta waves, which correspond to different stages of sleep. The prefrontal cortex and hippocampus, crucial for executive functions and memory formation respectively, are particularly active during specific sleep stages, underscoring the intricate relationship between sleep and brain health. Insufficient or disrupted sleep can have negative impacts on cognitive abilities, mood, and overall well-being, emphasizing the vital role of quality sleep in maintaining a healthy brain. Perception is the process of interpreting and organizing the sensory information we receive to make sense of the world around us. Our brains take in visual, auditory, tactile, and other inputs and use our past experiences and knowledge to understand what we're experiencing. Attention is the ability to focus on specific information while filtering out distractions. It allows us to concentrate on relevant cues and ignore irrelevant ones. Attention is crucial for tasks like reading, driving, and problem solving, where we need to focus on the important information and block out distractions. Perception and attention work together as part of our overall cognitive processing, the complex system that takes in information, interprets it, and allows us to make decisions, solve problems, and engage with the world. The human brain has specialized regions that process and produce language, with Broca's area managing speech production and Wernicke's area handling language comprehension. Individuals fluent in multiple languages often have increased gray matter density in language-related brain regions, as well as enhanced connectivity between these areas.
Infants initially process language based on prosodic cues like rhythm and intonation, but as children grow, their brains become increasingly specialized for complex communication and literacy skills. The human brain has specialized regions that process and produce language, with Broca's area managing speech production and Wernicke's area handling language comprehension. Individuals fluent in multiple languages often have increased gray matter density in language-related brain regions, as well as enhanced connectivity between these areas. Infants initially process language based on prosodic cues like rhythm and intonation, but as children grow, their brains become increasingly specialized for complex communication and literacy skills. The human brain is an incredibly complex and sophisticated organ, comprising billions of interconnected neurons. This remarkable complexity allows the brain to process vast amounts of information, generate original ideas, and adapt to new experiences with remarkable flexibility. The key to the brain's genius lies in its remarkable plasticity, its ability to constantly reorganize and rewire its connections in response to changing demands. This neuroplasticity enables us to learn, remember, and adapt throughout our lives, making the human brain a true marvel of nature. The brain's remarkable adaptability and capacity for growth are truly awe-inspiring and speak to the incredible potential of the human mind. The popular notion that people are either left-brained or right-brained is a myth. In reality, the brain functions as an integrated whole, with both hemispheres working together. The left brain slash right brain dichotomy oversimplifies the complex workings of the brain and perpetuates stereotypes that are not supported by scientific evidence. Both hemispheres contribute to a wide range of cognitive functions, from logic and language to creativity and spatial awareness. They work in an interdependent, collaborative manner. It's important to understand that the brain does not operate in such a simplistic, binary way. The two sides of the brain work together seamlessly to drive our cognition and behavior. Alzheimer's is a progressive brain disorder that affects memory, thinking, and behavior. It is characterized by the buildup of amyloid plaques and tangles in the brain, leading to the destruction of nerve cells. Dementia is a broader term that encompasses a range of neurological conditions, including Alzheimer's. Symptoms of dementia can include memory loss, difficulty with problem solving, language problems, and changes in mood and personality. Early diagnosis is crucial for managing these conditions, as doctors can use cognitive tests, brain imaging, and other assessments to diagnose Alzheimer's and dementia. While there is no cure, various treatments, including medications and lifestyle changes, can help manage symptoms and slow the progression of these diseases. Traumatic brain injury, or TBI, is a serious medical condition caused by a sudden external force that damages the brain. The impact can lead to bruising, bleeding, and swelling within the brain, resulting in temporary or permanent impairments. Common causes of TBI include car accidents, falls, and physical assaults. The effects of TBI can range from mild to severe, depending on the location and extent of the brain damage. Symptoms may include headaches, confusion, memory loss, difficulty concentrating, mood changes, and physical impairments like balance problems or paralysis. Effective rehabilitation is crucial for TBI patients to regain their abilities and adapt to any lasting impairments. Rehabilitation often involves physical, occupational, and speech therapy, as well as counseling to address cognitive, emotional, and behavioral challenges. A stroke occurs when blood flow to part of the brain is blocked, depriving brain tissue of oxygen and nutrients, leading to permanent brain damage. The extent of brain damage and the affected region are key factors in determining the long-term effects of a stroke. Rapid treatment and comprehensive rehabilitation are crucial for maximizing the brain's natural ability to rewire and adapt, a process known as neuroplasticity. Stroke survivors often require extensive rehabilitation, including physical, occupational, and speech therapy to regain lost function and mobility. The goal of rehabilitation is to help stroke survivors rebuild skills and adapt to any permanent changes in the brain's structure and function. Neuroplasticity is the brain's remarkable ability to adapt and change, which is the foundation of effective rehabilitation. After a brain injury or illness, 
Neuroplasticity allows the brain to reorganize and compensate, enabling patients to recover lost functions and develop new neural pathways. There are three key ways neuroplasticity supports rehabilitation. Neural rewiring. The brain forms new connections, allowing healthy areas to take over functions of damaged regions. Skill retraining. Intensive therapy and practice help the brain learn new ways to perform everyday tasks. Adaptive devices. Specialized tools and technologies can augment the brain's abilities and enable independent living. By harnessing the power of neuroplasticity, rehabilitation professionals can guide patients through a personalized, holistic recovery process. This approach empowers individuals to regain their independence and reclaim their quality of life after a debilitating brain event. Puberty brings a surge of hormones like estrogen, testosterone, and dopamine, which can lead to emotional fluctuations and mood swings in teenagers. This hormonal turbulence impacts decision-making, impulse control, and the ability to regulate emotions. Teenagers often experience a roller coaster of emotions, from intense joy to deep sadness and frustration. This emotional volatility is partly due to the restructuring of the brain's limbic system, which processes emotions. Teenagers may struggle to make sense of these powerful feelings and find effective ways to manage them. Mindfulness practice strengthens neural pathways and promotes neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to adapt and change over time. This can help reduce stress, anxiety, and depressive symptoms by altering the brain's response to negative stimuli. Mindfulness meditation has been shown to increase gray matter density in regions associated with emotional regulation, learning, and memory. This can lead to improved focus, emotional control, and overall well-being. Mindfulness reduces activity in the brain's default mode network, which is associated with mind-wandering and self-referential thought. By quieting this network, mindfulness can enhance present moment awareness and improve cognitive performance. A balanced, nutrient-rich diet is essential for supporting optimal brain health and function. Foods like fruits, Vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins provide the key nutrients the brain needs to thrive. These nutrient-dense foods help reduce inflammation and oxidative stress, which can negatively impact cognitive abilities. Omega-3 fatty acids, found in foods like salmon, walnuts, and flax seeds, are crucial for brain health. They help reduce inflammation, support nerve cell function, and may even enhance memory and cognitive performance. Proper hydration is also essential for the brain. Dehydration can lead to fatigue, impaired concentration, and cognitive decline. Drinking plenty of water throughout the day can help keep the brain sharp and focused. Exercise has been shown to stimulate the growth of new brain cells, a process known as neurogenesis. This can lead to improved cognitive abilities, enhanced memory, and better overall brain function. Regular physical activity increases blood flow to the brain, delivering more oxygen and nutrients. This can help protect brain cells, reduce inflammation, and support cognitive performance. Exercise has been found to improve focus, attention, and the ability to multitask. The increased blood flow and neurotransmitter release from exercise can enhance cognitive control and executive function. The illustrations on this slide help visualize the key benefits of exercise for the brain, from new neuron growth to improved blood flow to boosted concentration and cognitive abilities. The brain is a complex organ that is deeply impacted by stress. When we experience stress, our brain triggers the release of hormones like cortisol and adrenaline, activating the fight-or-flight response. This prepares the body to deal with perceived threats or challenges, but chronic stress can have negative effects on brain function. Chronic stress can impair memory, attention, and decision-making, and lead to inflammation and accelerated cognitive decline. However, practicing stress management techniques like meditation, exercise, and mindfulness can help mitigate the damaging effects of stress on the brain. These activities can promote neuroplasticity and improve overall brain health. The future of brain research is being transformed by advancements in neuroimaging and AI-powered discoveries. Cutting-edge techniques like fMRI and PET allow us to observe the brain's activity in real time, unlocking new insights into how different regions interact and respond to stimuli. AI and machine learning are revolutionizing brain research by enabling the analysis of vast amounts of neurological data, 
identifying patterns and anomalies that could lead to groundbreaking discoveries about the brain's structure, function, and development. These technological advancements are opening up exciting new frontiers in our understanding of the human brain. The human brain is an incredible, complex organ with immense untapped potential. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of the brain, the possibilities for personal growth, scientific advancement, and improving the human condition are truly limitless. By understanding the brain's remarkable ability to adapt and change, known as neuroplasticity, we can empower individuals to overcome challenges, learn new skills, and enhance their cognitive abilities throughout their lifetime. Recognizing the deep connections between the brain, the body, and our overall well-being opens the door to holistic approaches to mental, physical, and emotional health, leading to greater overall human flourishing. This conclusion highlights the exciting future that lies ahead as we continue to unlock the brain's potential.